is like the short, the lightning presentation uh, to introduce your the uh, project. So that is the project A, and then the, we will talk about the more details the next week the, regarding to your the project A. But this one is the same project team, but uh, different topic. But uh, we'd better start earlier because uh, you need to implement, uh, assemble and uh, test uh, and uh, eventually apply the data mining technique like the convolutional neural network and uh, so on. So today I'm going to hand out the, uh, the project kit that I will explain uh, after I hand out the uh, group one. As I suggest, you'd better sit together, <coughs> so even not convenient. Group number two. Group number two. Where is the group two? Group number three. <laughs> you don't remember your group? Group three. Group two. You don't tell me that. Lead is not locked. It's just open, so be careful. Three. What is and group? four. Hmm? Four. And five. <laughs> five. Six. Number six. I will explain the uh, I am inside. Seven. Eight. And you and Stan is on nine. Okay. Two. Okay, so. If you see the box, there are the list of the item. Please check first. The first one is uh, your car kit. Okay. So I unbox. So unfortunately, half of your car kit was used the last time, the previous semester. Half of them are new. New does not mean it's better because you need to the adjust something you need to do. But the old one may have the missing part, but it will be the minor missing. Okay, the like the small the board and so on. So you guys, I already uh, test everything, so it will be fine. So this is a car kit. Please uh, keep old plastic bag, small bag. The when you complete the end of the semester, if you do not turn in SEDs, you will not get the credit. <laughs> uh, really. I spent a couple of days the last week, last semester to the orange and the, the everything, so please return SEDs. It's also a good idea to take a photo. Then you can return SEDs. And the second thing is the last way, Pi 4, it's a one gigabyte, it's a new one. Okay, all of you guys have the new one. And also there is a, the, the la, I will explain the Raspberry Pi 4 today, the, very quickly. But the, fr, from the Pi 4, it used the HDMI, the micro HDMI. Okay, it's not the regular HDMI, so you need the okay, micro HDMI. Half of them has the uh, male, micro HDMI, male to male HDMI. But the other half is like that, which means in case you need to, you need to connect the regular HDMI. The, yeah, long cable, you need to connect. The half of them already have the uh, such a thing, but probably you don't need. But just in case you cannot connect the, through the Wi-Fi, so you need to use the monitor and mouse, everything. At that time, you need uh, this cable, okay? Then, Number four, SD card. SD card is inside the small box. Okay. So this is the SD card, 32 gig. It's a brand new one for each team. So I hopefully I didn't test, it, but I yesterday the re image everything. So right now all team have the same the image. Okay. For E me easy to explain. Okay, so I will today we are going to connect with uh, this one. Okay, so do not lose the adapter also. Sometimes you need to use the adapter. Okay, to like the uh, headless connection. It's called the headless connection. You need to put the the Wi-Fi name and password. The in case you cannot connect. 
the, the network. Okay. So this is the, the uh, SD card. And next one is the power supply. This is also, the, if you already use, have the experience to use the Pi, but uh, from Pi 4, it requires 3 ampere power. Otherwise, sometimes if you run the, like the heavy program, like the deep learning so on, it will be power out. So this one is 3.5, the official the power supply. Please use in case uh, you want to use your own check the and the most of them the for your cell phone is less than the 3 ampere. So 2.5 or sometimes 1.5 is uh, the easily. Sometimes the after you connect the uh, the car and Raspberry Pi, the battery is not uh, strong enough. So to save the battery power, you can connect uh, this one. Okay, please keep the, this one to save your battery later. Okay, then other. you have the total the full battery, rechargeable battery is uh, the 18650 the rechargeable battery, but the different capacity. Two of them in a box is the 9,000 milliampere. It's pretty much good. And the, the other is the 6,000 milliampere. If you already have the uh, 18650, so you can use. And this is uh, the uh, battery charger. Very simple, easily broken. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is uh, easily broken, so be careful. So a couple of them already broken last time. So this is a really cheap one. So it's not easy to find uh, from <laughs> Amazon. eBay you can find. OK? And, uh, this one is for your the final testing during the testing and the, uh, the training and the testing you need to use. So all student has a stop sign, but all team. But the other team sometimes you have the speed limit 25, sometimes 55 high speed, sometimes you have railroad, sometimes you have parking. But uh, we are going to use the at least the stop for your the practice. But the you need to have the the machine learning model that can classify multiple, okay? This one is really cheap, the toy. If you can find the better one, so it's up to you, okay? So you can uh, buy or make, the, but uh, do not lose the, this. One thing additional, in addition to the last uh, the semester test, I'm thinking to this time the classify the uh, traffic signal. I expect a better one, but uh, I realize it's not so good. So right now I'm thinking to use a little bit better. Where is it? Right. Yes. So you can find the similar testing data set, training data set, the similar to this one. So this is a nice toy. It's so automatically. I'm not sure whether the, this the our the car can classify successfully, but uh, this one, so I, we can put uh, this, so you can run to your car, the, depending on the light, so I'm going to order the, this one more, so each team may have the late, maybe the uh, spring break, so I will uh, hand over the, this, so, but the full, until that time, if you need, uh, you can use the cheaper <laughs> one, yeah. and also easily broken, I already <laughs> broke the couple of them, already, but uh, eventually I'm thinking to use the, this. Which means if you uh, download, collect the data set to train the, uh, the traffic signal, you can find the, not the, about the horizontal, vertical, the, uh, the traffic sign you can find. Then the, uh, also this semester, I'm going to add uh, one more task uh, so for the object recognition based on the uh, using So this is uh, the, uh, you heard about the edge computing. Nowadays, edge computing is the hardest area to, like the downsizing long time ago, the, we downsized the capacity, the uh, computing power to the client. So we can the, run the uh, deep learning module on the, this is a TPU machine, TensorFlow, the processing unit. So it's the in charge of the only 
the deep learning part. Like the, you heard of, if you know the YOLO and the so on, it's a one line code using the this. The main problem was the last semester, the last Ray Pi does not, couldn't support three, up to the three, it doesn't support the USB three, which means the slow. So even though it's so fast, the, because of the interface, it's a slow response. But the, from last Ray by four, the, it supports the USB three, so which means it's really fast. There's no delay. So I'm thinking to use the, this one for the object recognition. So if you detect the person or car, the, such a thing. So it's a very simple code. So I direct like introduce uh, uh, the edge uh, the uh, YOLO with uh, uh, the Google Coral Accelerator. So then the, you can apply the, this one to the your the autonomous autonomous car later. Okay. But anytime, feel free to uh, test in advance. Okay. You don't have to wait. So it's a good idea to, you have a three, group by two or three, you can divide the job so you can focus on such object recognition, you can focus on the CN convolutional neural network, so you can focus on the assembly because uh, even though your the model is perfect, so your car is not so good. So you need to the tune a lot uh, different, even the camera position. So for example, this one is the, Final assembly. So this is your first test. So actually, the camera the is just uh, mounted uh, over here, but so you'd better have the higher position of the camera. It's like the bird eye view. If you see the such a car, autonomous car, driverless car, or self-driving car, their camera view is like the, this. Then the, you can. The, but the, if you put the camera over here, the you cannot recognize the lane. So I will explain the details, but uh, this. Uh, the, so that is the reason that I put the higher <coughs> position of the camera like that. Okay, so those are the items in your box. So please uh, try to do your best to keep as it is. When you return, I expect the exactly the same as the, this uh, to save my time. So last semester, it takes a really long time to classify each and some, every small piece and uh, the pack and the so on. So please uh, help me. And uh, you can, any other thing? Okay, so you can use the small box for any reason because uh, a lot of time the, you lose the small piece because uh, you do not have, so you can use the, uh, this box. And uh, any box or the small bag, the, please keep in the box. That's the reason I put the, everything in the uh, box. Okay, any question? Do I need to get the sign to receive? Please uh, keep. So, you know, the, it's not easy to get the, such a, the, uh, the classroom material nowadays, so I tried my best, so uh, I do not have the extra the piece or the item. So if you broke, uh, if you are lucky, you can uh, clean out using the 3D printer, <laughs> otherwise uh, uh, not easy going. Okay, then first thing is uh, uh, your first task is Any questions? So, everything is on the GitHub side. So, you can find any update. To update if I have, I'm going to update to the this GitHub side. Also, you can find the last semester, uh, the spring 2019. The I had there were five teams. There were. Okay. Some of them are good, some of them are just uh, the minimal, but you can find uh, uh, what they did, even including source code, and they implement. So these are the examples of the, uh, your the code output that I expect. Okay, you can, I still, you can check the how the last semester did the, this project, but this semester we have the several the additional tasks you need to complete. So don't even think about to copy. Okay. So you can go through the, uh, what is the Pika? It's uh, just uh, the toy, but uh, it's the work with the uh, comparable with the uh, Raspberry Pi 4. When I test it, it's uh, no problem. And also, uh, simply it, let me, first task is assembly, okay? It doesn't, 
it's not, it doesn't look like the important, but later you will realize the probably several times you need to assemble the assembly so on. Because you realize that the, for example, front wheel, the assembly is very important so to control. If it doesn't go straight, no way to be success the, at the end of the semester. It will be kind of a competition, so racing. So then the, to get used to the car, so assemble, deassemble several times for me. So I think the, at least 100 times assemble, deassemble, even it takes uh, less than 15 minutes to assemble, deassemble, all the things. So <laughs> please uh, try to get used to assembly. So first task, phase one is assembly. It's a slightly changing. So you can find all the uh, detail from the instruction. You can, uh, if you open the this big IKEA bag, so there is a manual. Very hard to read. Okay, the printer quality is not good. Okay, but uh, there is a PDF file. I'm not sure. So whether I upload, so I will uh, give the link of PDF version of this one. Okay, any, anyway, so you can find all the, and also, even though it looks like the same, but the slightly different version. So your the manual may be different from the other, so don't be crazy. So most of them are the similar or same, okay? But this is the best one, because I took the all the photo and the everything while I assembled the this, and I try to quickly go through. So you can uh, check the, you may not have enough, uh, the full, the bolt and nut and uh, so on, but uh, I think the, for example, you don't have to use the uh, old four, then you can use uh, two of them if you do not have enough, like that. And basically it has uh, three server. This one is uh, for the steering. So this steering, we do not use a pen and tape, okay? Don't, However, if you uh, would like to add uh, more functionality, if you want, to definitely you can do that. It's a pen and tilt. And, but the main part is the steering part. This one is uh, uh, steer the, your car. It's uh, controlled by the degree. So you can move it test after you complete the assembly. Okay. And also, this, we are using the two DC motor. It's uh, just uh, the toy style the DC motor. It's uh, the uh, behind the wheel, the rear wheel. So, but uh, be careful for the direction. Please follow the instruction uh, because it's uh, the symmetric, but the different side is uh, to go forward and backward at uh, the uh, same time. So you need to uh, follow the instruction. One tip is it's a plastic, easily. It's not broken, it's a flexible, but problem is it's not stable. So for example, the this <coughs> for example the this part is important. You are going to put the mount uh, you two DC motor over here. It can be easily like that. Okay. So I put the rubber band to keep the position. So you can the uh, but until you assemble, you may not realize, but. Uh, if you, if possible, like the, this one, the, I put the, uh, the rubber band the, from the kitchen, so then the, it can keep the parallel. Actually, it should be like the, this, according to the uh, automobile, like that, but you don't have to, but the, at least the parallel to keep the uh, straight line, okay? Then that is the uh, DC motor. In case uh, you broke the wire or something, you can do the solder. Okay, do not ask. The, me, the how I the fix, you can go to the, any the, the lab, then the soldering, then you can fix it. And the price is less than one box. So don't be crazy, even though it's broken. And this is a web camera, it's an 8 megapixel. The problem is it's not really good quality, but uh, we are going to use it. But if you want to use the better quality, but better quality does not mean the better result because uh, I'm not sure the Raspberry Pi 4 can handle the computational issues. So, because uh, better the resolution, higher resolution need the high, the high computational power, but this one is the uh, 8 megapixel. 
uh, but not, it's, they said it's a wide angle cover the 120 degree, but the most of the, if you go to the Udacity, so there the test image like the almost 180, 70, 60, 70, 80, really wide angle. That makes sense because when you drive, do you cover the this much? But the, that one is 120. They say wide angle is not wide. It's really narrow. So if you, uh, that's the reason I want you guys to put the, as high as possible. These are the all the part. Please follow. Okay. And I think that you know the uh, three means uh, three millimeter and the 25 to 25 millimeter is the size and the width, head size and so on. Okay. Sometimes the, for testing purpose, I make the, a lot of hole on your plate, so don't be confused. <laughs> okay. And there are three, this is not the, uh, this is the design course, but uh, not robotics, but uh, I think that you guys need to know at least the uh, controller. So, uh, this, uh, the server is controlled by the, what's the name of the, anyway, there the head and the controller is based on PWM. It's like the pulse wave driver, so it's a PWM based controller, and uh, basically, uh, so we need to control the two, the DC motor, two DC motor is controlled by the small one. I forgot the name of that. And uh, this one is uh, controlling the three, uh, the server is uh, for steering and the pan and tilt. And uh, this one is uh, in charge of the uh, battery power <coughs> and uh, so on. Okay, so battery is connected to the here. There is a switch, switch is also very weak. It's easily broken, so be careful. And then the camera is a USB camera. If you have a better idea for the camera, well, if you have, the, you can connect the simply uh, the here and uh, try to mount. Then the, you can use your own the web camera. So. Then the, I think that this one is from the uh, my the experience. So I think that you, I tried my best. Then, at the moment, in the middle of that, there's a server configuration. The reason is that we don't know where is a neutral position. Okay, because even you can turn the, this one. Don't try too hard. It will be broken, but it will be turned. You don't know where is the neutral point. So to decide the neutral point, you need to connect the Raspberry Pi and the connect and turn on, then it will be the middle. Middle is like that. Then you need to calibrate. Okay, so that is the reason. Uh, it's a manual calibrate, you can turn to the middle, then the assembly, complete the assembly with the power. It will be rotated. So turn on your, the Raspberry Pi and run the, okay, I think that there is a something name of a program. Uh, the Pi car server install, okay, Pi car server install, then the, it will go to the try to middle. It's not, you cannot manually calibrate exactly later. There is a problem, the calibration. So you don't have to uh, worry about too much, if, even though it's a tilt a little bit, okay? The, yeah, this one is not a big problem, but, but uh, this one is really a problem. So try to do your uh, best uh, to follow the instruction. If not, if you, if you do not follow the instruction, when you turn on, the, you will be like the, this one always, okay? Because you do not adjust the neutral position. That's the reason it's in the middle. Okay. Today we are going to connect, so don't worry. And the front wheel, so I tested the all different version of the Sun Founder car. This one is the best one because it has a bearing and this one it can be easily controlled. Still the margin, but uh, please follow the instruction. Like that. Some of the students skip the, this part, uh, then it's hard to the steer. Good. Penetrate is not important. You can uh, whatever you want, but uh, who knows? So you can use the penetrate to. I tested the uh, uh, object tracking card. It works really well. So once you uh, detect the object, 
like the I use the ball tracking, so it's follow the ball, okay, using the pen and tip. And uh, finally, the difference is the the mount, the this one to the higher position. The problem is when I uh, purchased the box yesterday from IKEA, then realized that the height is the I think the a quarter quarter inch higher. So that's the reason I put a hole so like the to see the this one, but you don't have to. But the, don't try to the close the lid hard. So instead, just to cover because anyway, it's not locked. Okay. So, but after I test it, if this one is okay, so I will. I will. But that is the one small problem. And in the middle of the semester, I'm going to hand out the tape. So eventually, we are going to use the uh, black color the tape for the lane. Okay. So we are going to use the this one for the length. And battery, so you can keep put the battery and if you turn on, then the, it will power both the controller <coughs> and the Raspberry Pi. But uh, to save the battery power, you can connect the power to the Raspberry Pi, then the Raspberry Pi will be powered by the, your adapter. Then you can save the, this one. However, if you power on the only this one, then the uh, without the battery power, your controller will not work. Controller need the battery power the, for more the uh, the capacity. I don't recommend to turn off the right away because anyway, this is computer. If you have any change, it may be sometimes the problem. So always try to do your best. Uh, the uh, shut down, grass, grass free, shut down, then the turn off. But uh, if you are urgent to Raspberry Pi, is usually better than other operating system to uh, the just the suddenly turn off. Okay, but if you have any changes, so it's not safe. Any question regarding to your the uh, phase one assembly? There's a home off. Okay, so you need to take the photo. Oh, requirement. You don't have to submit your the, any homework to Canvas for this one. If, instead, the, you need to create the right right away the GitHub site, project site, pro, uh, the GitHub site, one of your team member, then the invite the other team member, then submit your the link of your project to Canvas for only one time. Then, from now on, after. Uh, from now on, after you submit the link, I'm going to grade your the project based on the documentation on your GitHub. Okay, on due date. So if you are not sure how to create the GitHub, it's time to learn. It's not very complicated. If I have a time, I can have the 20, 30 minutes. If you want the Geek and GitHub, how to use. How many of you never use the GitHub? I think the, you guys know how to work together. You don't have to, my suggestion is that you don't have to create the, the uh, multiple branch, okay? You can the, use the one main branch only, then the sync, you can communicate through the message. I'm going to update. So actually the GitHub allow the multiple branch. So you can the, create, then the master can the, accept and the, decline, something like that. It will be complicated, but Nowadays, we can use the message, like the Slack or the iMessage or whatever, then communicate each other. I'm going to update the, the A.P. Wi-Fi. So then the, after, after you're done, the, you can release. Unlock lock through the manually. Then the, that is my suggestion. But all your members are familiar with the GitHub. So you can uh, create a multiple branch and the uh, master, the, your project leader, can uh, uh, allow or uh, decline, something like that. Kick up first. And then the submit the all your the project, for example, the first uh, the page. You need to submit. The due date is uh, February 21st. At the time, the, you need to submit. The create a gigabyte project at least a temporal to describe process assembly 
Follow that shows the, connect, the connection, Raspberry Pi, and any ideas to improve quality of this car and uh, pick up and URL to the canvas. Then optional, the Raspberry Pi. This is the main problem I realized the last time. Not many students are familiar with the Linux, and especially the this. So if you go to the this link, so this is the Raspberry Pi 4. This one may be different. This is thirty dollar more more expensive than yours. It's a four gigabyte. The Raspberry Pi 4. Are uh, different from the previous one, a lot different. So if you are anyone who ever used any version of Raspberry Pi, two, three, few, so overall not much. So please do your best to catch up. This is a good experience. I know that you guys are familiar with uh, Windows and the graphical user interface, but uh, like the, to be familiar with the cloud computing, definitely command line interface, Linux environment, Unix environment are very, very important. So this is a good time to know, uh, to learn. So first, this is exactly the same as uh, the, your computer, any type of general purpose computer, especially Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, foc explicitly focus on the day one or same level or higher than the personal computer. It can be used for general computing environment. It has a four gigabyte RAM, RAM size, up to four gigabyte. It's more expensive. Yours is one gigabyte. So, for I'd like to buy the higher one, but uh, not easy right now. But it's enough to test and uh, run the your project. And also, everything is the same as your the computer, even better than that. Problem is interface. So we do not have the monitor, we do not have the, this, the mouse and the keyboard. So we, you don't want to the carry on the, all this stuff every time, right? Only the, this one. This is a benefit. So today I'd like to show how to do that, but they support the multiple HDMI, but it's a micro HDMI. They support, so you can the, actually the, put the multiple the screen like that. Even better than the, uh, the desktop. And the uh, power is different from the old version, the Pi 3, it's a USB Type-C. Okay, that's the reason that I uh, the put the uh, power supply, it's a new one, so you can use that. And also, minimum 3 ampere. 2.5 is working when I test it, but uh, strongly suggest to use uh, 3 or higher the ampere. Then the, it has uh, audio. We do not use audio, but uh, if you can add additional functionality like the voice control, then you can use the mic and the, the uh, this one. This is a Pi camera interface. The Pi camera is uh, thirty-five to forty dollars. It's much better the quality than the, our USB. The camera, if you can afford it, it's up to you. So, but uh, it's a better quality Pi camera. The cheap, cheaper version is uh, 10 bucks from Amazon. When I test it, it's uh, less quality. Okay. Then the, what else? Oh, the USB. Another different thing, USB is the blue thing is a USB 3. Much, much faster than the, than the USB device. Also, it supports the GPIO. So you can use the breadboard or any circuit design, but we are going to use the head that I introduced uh, over here. So power goes through the uh, this way. I think the ground and the, it's a one and the number one and number four, whatever. But anyway, so you can the, uh, see. So those are interface. But uh, unfortunately, we don't want to uh, carry on the monitor. If you can afford, you can buy the seven inch monitor. Uh, it's uh, around the thirty to seventy bucks and. Uh, a Bluetooth, the mouse, Bluetooth, the keyboard, whatever, I don't recommend, okay? Instead, so today uh, I will show you the several ways to connect, but uh, this is the, uh, the Raspberry Pi. Oh, the CPU. So it uses a quad core, okay? 64 bit, the processor, it's a 1.5 gigahertz. It's not bad, right? So, and the memory, 
Europe is a one gigabyte, and the power is a five voltage and uh, three ampere network. We may not use the uh, the uh, gigabit uh, the network cable, but it supports the gigabit Ethernet. Oh, it has a built-in Bluetooth and the Bluetooth five. The, it's a supported and also the, it has a Wi-Fi inside. You don't have to connect the Wi-Fi the adapter. And USB, GPIO, and the audio. Then power supply. And then finally to start. So please uh, find the, your the, the SD card from your box. Please find. SD card. You can find the S card from the yellow box. You don't have to plug in the your S card to the adapter. Adapter later we will use. So just the S card. Just the S card. And don't be upside down. So if you see the this one, you can the plug in the S card the, this way. Okay? This is the right way. True. So no, not that way. Yes. So don't be upside down. The, this is the right way. Certainly. the Yes. From now on, probably you will not take out the uh, SD card. Everything is going on. But in case uh, you need to pull out the SD card, please power off. Sometimes they uh, easily shorten, so you, your device may be a uh, problem. Okay. Everybody, the plug-in SD card. Then, next thing is the power supply. So, mine is, I'm going to use, if you have the power bank like that, so you can use it. Please check the ampere. So my, I usually use the, this one to demonstrate, so you can use it working very well. But uh, in your case, please to open the box for the power supply. The problem is the, the power outlet. Your power outlet is behind the desk. You can pull out the, one of the monitor or whatever and uh, plug it. So behind the desk there is a power, so please I want to talk with you. Do not connect the, your power to the Pi yet. Press a link. Yeah, please leave it. Yeah. So I think the, some of the students need to. Okay. okay. So if you are ready, please connect your power to the power interface. Is this one? Okay. There is no up, down. Okay, then the, if you can see the blink, green light, it's okay. If the green light is a solid, it's a problem. So you need to unplug the power, the connect again. We need to connect this to the... Yes, behind the table, there is a power. If you can see the blinking, Green light is okay, but if your is not blinking or there's something you cannot see the green light, it's the problem. Then, I think the 30 seconds later, it will be the only you can see the solid red light, means ready. You don't know what's going on inside. Hopefully, something going on. <laughs> well, we will check it later. <laughs> After you connect, just leave it.
only behind. Yeah. Behind the table, pull out the one of these. We don't use computer, PC, layer. You can pull out the one of the power plug from behind. We need to little bit speed up, please. If you are handy, it's really fun to play with the Raspberry Pi. There are a lot of things you can do, even more powerful. Just to connect. If your SD card is damaged or the something not properly plugged, you cannot see the blinking green light. After 30 seconds, it will be gone. That's normal. So, which means it's something ready. So, green light show if there is any operation, it shows. Okay. So sometimes if you cannot see what's going on, <coughs> if you see the something the blinking, that means it's a computation. For example, when you install the very heavy light like NumPy, it takes a long time. So at the time, the, you can just check. If you don't want to connect the last Pi, see the green line. Okay, so if you are waiting, so just leave it. We are not going to use the, right now the HDMI, the cable. At your home, or something problem I cannot connect, the last option is you need to connect the monitor, mouse, and everything. Just like the, any personal computer, you can check. Okay. I do not explain the how to set up SD card. If you are interested, in search Google. Okay. This is not available, the, what you're showing? Oh, it's not available. It is? Yeah, it is available. Then the, you will see, if you connect the monitor and everything, you will see the, this one. But I already did, did everything. So your SD card, your Raspberry Pi is ready to start your project. Okay. I'm going to jump to the page two uh, because today we try to connect the last way part. I will explain the more details later regarding to the page two, but. Uh, Okay, there are several different options to connect the Raspberry Pi. So, this is the link to explain every details, but uh, I do not have enough time to explain, but you, you can go through the, this. We did uh, connect the power source, but uh, not this one. If you, at your home, or the, if you have the, that thing, this is the last option. Bring your monitor, everything, and connect and start. Then it's no my computer, okay? then you can uh, fix the problem. But uh, nobody wants to do this. So right now, I, uh, we are going to use the, this approach, which is called the headless setup. Headless setup means the, we are going to falsely the assign Wi-Fi. So right now, I assigned your SD card to connect the, this, the router, okay? I already did this. Hopefully, the, if you turn on and work the properly, it already connected to the, this one. I'm not sure whether the UV network limit number of connection when I use the router. There are some, many of the network limit the number of IP address from the same MAC address, okay? So I cannot guarantee. Even though you cannot connect the right now, don't be crazy. You can do the later. Another option is you can use the, your hotspot. If you have the enough data plan, you can use the, that. Is the best way. It doesn't use a huge data. Okay, that is the best way and the convenient and the portable best way. But right now you do not the setup. So I already did the to connect. For your information, if you want to do that. You can uh, edit the one file, wpa underscore supplicant.com file, you can create. It's a text file. Where is this file? This is the Wi-Fi, the configuration. You need to create. But uh, I already 
the upload the template on the our the PyCard the GitHub site you can download and uh, if you want to connect uh, your home Wi-Fi or other thing then uh, you can actually uh, put the uh, wipe SSID name and password okay even you can set up for night Wi-Fi which is not simple but you can do that so two file SSH SSH is uh, the nothing the file size is zero but uh, it, the only file length then the WPA underscore supplicant.com file you need to copy this file to the your directly SD card at the time you can use the slot if you let me borrow if you see the your laptop some of the laptop has the slot SD card at the time you can use the uh, adapter the SD card adapter it's okay so you can the plug the, your SD card to the this adapter then plug it then the from your Windows or Linux the uh, Mac OS you can see the the this this disk drive then copy and paste the two files into your SD card. Then the, you can the, set up your Wi-Fi. It's called the headless setup. I already did for this one. So to connect the, this headless setup, we need to use the remote desktop, VNC, the server and client. I'm not going to explain what is a VNC server and client. You can imagine the uh, remote server and client. So which means your last way Pi is the VNC server, okay? I already set up. Then the your the laptop. I asked the beginning of the class is to install VNC viewer. So from your VNC viewer, why don't you open one of your team member? Start the VNC app uh, before. So if one of your the team member install the VNC viewer, connect the Wi-Fi. Name start with the TP link. The problem is there are two TP link. Let me check which one is which. Oh, uh, this one. TP link six F A. Seven F A. Password. Only one, please, because I'm not sure how many the connection allowed. One nine six nine zero four zero eight. It's my birthday. Six nine zero four eight four eight. One nine six nine. So your laptop. So which means under the same router, your Raspberry Pi is connected already. So you are going to your laptop. VNC viewer should connect to this one. Same router. Okay? The problem is you need to know your IP address of the last red pie. That's the problem because we have the at least the nine, ten, including mine, ten different IP address. So this is a really problem. So from the what is the best way? So right now, why don't you connect to that? See the how? Many, let me check the how many the Raspberry Pi is connected. We need to do the one by one. It's a good idea to keep the, your MAC address. <coughs> so anyone who knows what is a MAC address? MAC address is a physical address of your unique address of your the Wi-Fi adapter. Okay, it will not be changed. So it is good idea to know to remember your MAC address. So let me. Hold on. So let me connect. Okay, so nine six nine zero four zero eight. 
Right now, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All of them are connected successfully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the problem is so which one is which? So let me. Mine is looks like a one, one, one. Let me move another one. So next thing is, let's do the, this one. Right now, because of which, we don't know which one is which. So we are going to turn off the last part again, then connect one by one, and then to check the assign. Which one? So it says in our password. Like, um, like, 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 yeah, the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 1969-0408. Isn't that this? No. Then why don't you try 0408? 1969. <laughs> so now quickly. it. So why don't you turn off the the pow the unplug your power? That's Ray Pi. Unplug your, okay? Then the, we will start the one by one. Otherwise, no way to identify your IP address. So why don't you unplug? Then the, we are going to start from the group number one. So where's the group number one? And connect right now. The, Can you connect? Mm. Wi-Fi? Oh yeah. Yeah. Zero four zero eight one nine six nine. So group number one. So your IP address is. The one nine two one six eight one. Let me. Please turn off your Raspberry Pi except the group number one. Please turn off. Please, otherwise we cannot uh, identify the IP address. So please use. Uh, right now I have two of them. Please turn off the, your the Raspberry Pi. Turn off, please turn off. Please turn off. Please turn off. Everybody turn off. I have two of them right now. Please turn off your last ray pi. Okay, so why don't you connect the start the VMC mirror? Then one one two. One one two. So one one two. Then the username, everything is yes. Username is a pi. Password is. Then the room number two. Room number two. Yeah. Why don't you start the your last red pi? Then I will check the your the IP address. One one four. One one four. Yes. So group number one, group number two, and the username password is here when you connect through the SSH. And the group number three, please start. Uh, Group number one, you can the, connect to your last ray pi using VNC viewer. Okay.
Is it started? Yeah. I think the your team was not disconnected. So one one three, I guess. No, we just connected. But the sometimes it's remain on the history. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I cannot see any. New. Oh, one two zero. I got it. Room number three is one two zero. Room number four. Room number four. Yeah. So connect. So you connected your last way time. So already connected? You didn't disconnect? I think it's uh, your team, the 113. So group number 4 is 113. And then group number 5, I think the third. Maybe possible either of this. Maybe. Professor? Yes. Can you say the Wi-Fi password again? The Wi-Fi password is 0408161969. So group number five. I think we'll limit it. Room number five, one one seven. Okay. And the six. Yes, why don't you connect? One seventeen is uh, disconnected. Yes, sir. Okay. One one zero, group six one one zero. And the seven, group number seven, connect. Your last word part. Group number six. Oh, not one one zero. One one zero is a uh, different one. Let me check. I'm not sure. Oh, could you disconnect the yours? Yeah, sorry. You can leave it. Let me check the. It's a one one nine. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Not yet. It takes some time to update. One one seven and two four five. One one five. Good number six. Six is a one one five. Okay, then connect. So one one nine. And room number eight. Are start. Okay, almost done. Another P R D. Let's go. Two, three, four, five. I think uh, maybe six. Quick try.
118. Room number 8. Okay. Then the Linux Mac domain, then I think there, there, is, there are no images in this. So, if you later, if you want to check the, your the Wi-Fi, there is an app. It's called the Fing. F-I-N-G. You can download the F-I-N-G and the uh, scan. It's an IP scanning tool. You heard about the IP scanning tool? So you can check the, uh, the, your IP address. Then after, I'm not sure whether group 1 and 4 is correct because you didn't we got, we, we got it. We got one, one, three. But it may be the other team. We are not sure. So later, if you cannot connect, so it's not working, you need to change. Because you didn't connect. You, did, you didn't disconnect. Okay, so then, if you start the VNC viewer, it's like that. Okay? Then, type IP address 192.168.1. So mine is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mine is Anyone who can connect the pie? Nobody? Yeah. Connect? So mine is not, I think, the time. Okay, then, if you already, uh, let, I need to show your. This is the most uh, the kind of difficult part when we start to learn the last way part. Two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right now, only seven. We need to have the nine. Okay, so because the nine is not okay, I want to connect the uh, group number one. Because uh, my IP is not. Yeah, my, I think there might be kind of limitation. I cannot connect to more. It looks like the device is a 15. Mostly it's a 15 is the maximum to the pi. So then, let me use the slide. This is, a, oh yes.
Okay, so if you connect your last wave pi from your the uh, VNC viewer, if you go to the top right corner, let me show you the. If you go to the menu, top right corner, you can see the Wi-Fi setting. In that Wi-Fi setting, right now, the, you are connecting only the this router. But after I turn off, if you leave, you cannot the, connect the, this one. There is no information about the Wi-Fi available. So I'm suggesting if you, how many teams connect to, to your the last Pi? One, two, three, four, <laughs> the, except Oh, you connect to your Raspberry Pi? So from your viewer? From your viewer, okay? So from your viewer, so if you see the, this, the screen, turn on your hotspot, okay? Turn on your hotspot, then connect to your hotspot from your the Raspberry Pi. Then, now you are able to connect under your hotspot. That will be the history on your the Wi-Fi setting. So later, after you leave, so you are able to please go to the top right corner menu. There is a Wi-Fi the icon and select your the hotspot. Then restart. Then the your the hotspot you can connect the, your Raspberry Pi. Then the from your VNC viewer. So you need to connect the, your hotspot from your laptop, okay? Then the, after you leave, the, you are able to connect to your the Raspberry Pi after you turn on your hotspot, okay? So please, uh, let's check the, how many team can connect. Then the, you, we are, because it's limited by 15, I can see only the 15 device under the router, so we, the other team can connect. So, the which team connect the through the VNC viewer? The team three, yeah, team two, and two and five, three, 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 three is okay, and five is okay, and also two, four. You connect from your viewer. Okay, then the, why don't you turn on your, the, do you have the hotspot? So why don't you turn on your hotspot, connect to your hotspot, if you go to here, so if you can see the your hotspot, so then you connect. Later, once you got familiar with that, you are able to connect the night Wi-Fi. But uh, there's uh, some the extra thing, so uh, right now, the, why don't you use your hotspot? So, any other team? Six. Six. And any other team? Group number one? Group number one? So are you able to? Not yet? So group number four? Group number four? Who is the four? For you connect? Oh, yes. And uh, seven? No. Not yet? Okay, wait. I think the, we need to wait until the, the other team leave. And Group number eight? No. No, not yet? Okay. So please, uh, this team, two, three, four, five, six, please connect to your the hotspot. After they connect, we are able to. Most of the network limit the number of devices to connect. It's uh, 15, no more. If you are able to connect your, your own hotspot, please let me know. Then you can leave. 
Oh yes, because you connect the, you need to change your the Wi-Fi for your the laptop to the hotspot. Then the, you are able to do the Then I will show you one more important thing that you can do as a homo. So please, anyone? Please let me know if you can connect to your Raspberry Pi using your own hotspot. Anyone? Group two? Group two? Group number two? Uh, we'll try. Uh, okay. Group number three? Group number three? Group number four? Five, six. You need to change the Wi-Fi for your laptop. Okay. It should be under the same. Yes, Then I will show you. You don't have to change the hotspot the next day using the VNC viewer cloud option. That's the different thing. Now I am able to connect. After you log out, the, I, now I am able to For example, this is uh, mine. Okay, so once you connect, you can change your the Wi-Fi to your hotspot. Please turn on your hotspot, data plan, and the so on. And anyone who connect to your own hotspot, you did. You cannot. Oh, the, IP, the IP address is changed. You need to check the IP address. Can you check the IP address from your the hotspot? Oh, the one more thing. When you change the hotspot, your IP address is changing. You need to check the IP address from your the cell phone hotspot. Can you check the IP address? No? Device. One connected. But this one is connected. But a laptop. What about the last ray part? It's not. Okay. So hold on. Let me clarify the current uh, the situation. So, first, uh, to first log on to your Raspberry Pi, we are using the this one. So I gave, uh, I checked the all IP address to this. Okay. Then once you are able to connect the uh, uh, your Raspberry Pi like the this, the turn on your hotspot and connect your Pi to your hotspot. Then new IP address will be assigned. You need to check the IP address. Then the connect your laptop to the hotspot. Okay? Connect to your hotspot to uh, the hotspot. Then to check the IP address, some of the cell phone to show the connected device with the IP address. So you can use, the, for example, the 10001. Then the, you can the, connect the 10001 to your last rate pi. If you, your cell phone does not support the, such an IP address, please install the thing. Thing is the scanning tool. It's a very useful. I'm using the, this one every time.
Are you able to connect? Yeah, we connect. Okay. Now how to connect the So why don't you turn the tunnel and turn turn on again? Yes. After you check the resolution. No, but that's that's if you're check your the hotspot and it is connected. And tomorrow after eleven AM to 1 p.m. I will be available in my office. Please bring your, the, if you are not sure the, how to connect everything, bring your the box, then the, I will show you how to connect in case the, so sometimes you lose the Wi-Fi and address. The individually, the each team, I will show you how to do that, okay? Because it's almost time, so. What should be next? I will explain. After connecting the hotspot. So we can't connect back to the um, previous one, so VNC connect. Uh, yes, I will explain. Uh, uh, right now we do not have enough time. Uh, yeah. I will explain everything that you guys need to do. Okay. Once you can use the, this one, the next step will be every time it's uh, just a simple. Okay? So, first, uh, this Raspberry Pi, remember all your Wi-Fi information, unless you modify the file. So later, I will explain how to manually modify such a thing. But uh, right now, you have the this and also the your hotspot if you successfully connect. Which means the next time when you restart your Raspberry Pi, listen to one will be checked. If not available, and next one, this. If none of them are available, it cannot connect the, uh, any internet or the network. But uh, next time, if your husband or the, this one, it's the same as your the laptop and cell phone, right? Your cell phone remember all your previous the Wi-Fi information. So that's the reason first time we connect the TP-Link, the, this one, and under the TP-Link, we are able to connect, right? And then add your the hotspot Wi-Fi, then the, your hotspot, Wi-Fi, then under the, this one, we are able to. But the problem of the, these two, uh, the, at that time, you need to check the new IP address. It's different from the, this one, okay? How, can, how do I check? You can use the, some of the cell phone hotspot provide a connected device with IP address. So you can the, check the IP address, use the, that new IP address, connect, otherwise, Download and install the thing app. This is uh, safe, so you can use the, the this the scanning tool for the Raspberry Pi, the IP address. Then connect. Then third thing, this is a homework. Whenever we connect the Raspberry Pi, we need to connect the same at the network, hotspot or such a thing to address that problem. The VNC server pro support VNC. The cloud connection. Cloud connection means it's not go through the this one. For example, the, this is a Pi and connect to the cloud. It's a VNC cloud. And you can connect the VNC cloud from your laptop. It doesn't have to be the same, the network. So which means you can put your Raspberry Pi at your home and turn on. Then connect to your home Wi-Fi. Then from your school, you are able to connect to your last rate part. This is a real remote desktop connection. Okay, to do that, you need to sign in VNC. Then the that step is uh, here. You can click the, this one and you can sign in over here. Like this. 
This information, all the detailed information in the project description. Okay, it's a different option. So then, once you complete the VNC, the server is a cloud. Cloud connection, at that time you need to sign in. Then, you can, whenever you turn on to the, your last Wi-Fi under pre-connected Wi-Fi, then the anywhere you are able to connect. Okay? So then after that later, if you want to do your project, so you can uh, set up the, this one for your, uh, for example, hotspot. Turn on the hotspot and connect the so hotspot. And then your friend use the night Wi-Fi for the laptop. Then you are able to connect. Get it? So you need to do up to the, this point by next, the, when is the due? February 28, two weeks, right? 24th? Yes. So this one is very important to be successful for your project because you are not familiar with the Raspberry Pi connection. Later, once you set up the everything, it's in the very the difficult sometimes to connect the HDMI and the so on. Also, if you are not sure how to do that, at your home, one of your members connect the monitor and everything, and just like the, your laptop, and the set up them manually by following the description, okay? Question. Tomorrow, from 11 to 1 p.m., I will be available at my office. So please bring your the last Pi and the box uh, to set up and to learn how to connect, okay? I will explain the details. Also, strongly recommend, if you wanna come by my office, the make the reservation. If you go to the link, you can the make the reservation for the meeting. Any questions?